me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome to another Inform Analysis. This time we are reviewing the most expensive player of week one's team of the week. It is Marco Royce. Now this guy cost a bloody bomb, 240,000 on the Xbox 360 and 300,000 on the PlayStation 3. And like you can see there, both a trade offer. I did get this player lent to me by the same person that lent me Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. So thank you very much to him yet again. Now he's got a four star weak foot and four star skill moves. So he is very, very tricky, a very tricky customer in this game. Now, I'm starting to get used to skills now I've played quite a lot of games um, from the early release so the more you play the more you get used to it the more skills you can pull off the more long shots you can pull off and look at this guy's long shots 96 long shots and given that finesses are still very OP until the game comes out in the patch it I score some great goals with this guy he is definitely by far the best player I've used so far and I'll just put out there now I don't think it's any secret you pay 240,000 for a player or I get given that anyways and he's just amazing look at that sprint speed look at the acceleration the agility to let him go past players with ease maybe not the best thing is his strength but he doesn't need the strength because he just glides past players I know people have tried like the likes of Messi compared him to Ronaldo Ronaldo's got the power Messi's got the kind of more guile but just look at that shot from Royce, by the way. What a strike. Like I was saying, the point with Messi being weak, with being small, people are saying he does get pushed off the ball quite a bit compared to Ronaldo, who's strong, tall, and powerful. But Royce, he's kind of in between both of them. And given that he's in form, he's just so good. Look at the touch he takes there. Chest, touch. That gives him the chance to finish. Maybe if I tried hitting that first time, it would have went in because, as you all know, the goalkeepers on this early release are terrible. He's great. He's wing play. He's setting up. That ball maybe could have went in originally from, I think it was Juf who got the header in the middle. But how about this for a goal? This is one of the better goals I did score with Marco Royce. And he just bends it in off the bar, in off the post, and into the back of the net. Crack and strike from the angle. And I go into the Gangnam style. I think this Gangnam style celebration will be my trademark celebration because I just love doing it every single time I score. This is what you'll see in clubs. This is what you'll see in my analysis. I just love that celebration. I don't know why, but it's just so addictive to do once you start doing it. And like I said about Royce, he's a kind of out-and-out -out winger. Just look how, how close that goes. <laughs> if they don't patch these finesse shots, everyone's going to be doing these because they're just so easy from range. Like I was saying about Royce, he's an out and out winger. He can just turn the fullbacks inside out, tie them in knots before delivering the cross. Now he can go down the wing with his left foot. He can cut inside on his right foot. He is really limitless. And when he runs at a defence like this, gets in behind, gets the ball, he doesn't miss. He's great at finishing. That's one of his pros. Long shots is another pro because he's great from range. Definitely the best player I've had from range so far in the game that I've tried. His pace is very fast at getting past players. He's got that acceleration burst, which not many players do have. I know I have tested out Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, and he's one of the paciest players I know in this game. And I think Royce, I don't know why, but Royce just seems to be faster to get the ball out of his feet and to start going. That could be down to his ball control. It could be down to his agility. What a finish that was from Mame Biram Juf. Another pro, I've got his ball control. The one player I've had on this game, Marco Royce, he's the only player where the ball sticks to his feet like glue. Now, you all know that ball control on this game is very difficult to master, but Marco Royce, he helps out so much. And his balance is another thing. I think that comes with the ball control, his agility, his balance is spot on. The only con I've got against him is his price. I mean, 240,000 coins. I think that could rise if he doesn't get a second in form as well. And of course, 300,000 on the PlayStation 3. So again, that is the only con I can kind of pick out with this guy because he's good in the air. He's good at dribbling. He can beat his man. He's cracking from range. His pace is good. Just look at this. He just dances past everybody before putting it in the bottom corner yet again. And just before I wrap this up, I just want to say thank you for the support on your Bamiyang one. Even though sub boxes were down, you lot rallied, you lot liked it, you lot shared it, and thank you very much for that. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll give him a 5 out of 5 star rating because he is epic. Remember to drop a like if you enjoyed. I'll catch you all later.